So recapping a little bit on um, Connor, uh, we got a li little more of his backstory. He was taken as a kid, so he's pretty much grown up in the facility his whole life. And that also explains why he really doesn't try to escape because he doesn't really know what's out there. He, he most likely wouldn't be able to take care of himself because he's been in a very controlled environment. He seems to have some kind of relationship going on with the uh, psychiatrist or I can't remember her name, but yeah, her. And he even seems like he's getting a little more confident. So I like that so far. Really great, not only great animation, but really great character development. And I know again with uh, these series as well, not to be taken too seriously, um, but I enjoy watching it. And But before we get started though, don't forget to like, subscribe, really does help me a lot. Hit that notification bell right there. That way you get notified every time I do upload. Sometimes I upload it twice a day, typically working on them in the mornings and releasing them in the late afternoon to late evening. That way when you all get off work, Enjoy the videos at your leisure. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what Confinement Series Episode 5, The Swordsman, is all about. Also, I apologize if at any point I have to mute the background noise because these episodes have gotten uh, some songs that I can't legally use. So. Um, this doesn't have to deal with the actual video, but if you've all seen Kim Possible back in the day, like I did when I was a kid, doesn't this guy look like Ron? And also, uh, the people, so obviously there's some kind of community, SCPs, and they're either gray-skinned or there's metal because they look shiny. I mean, I don't know if that was just the design, but they look shiny. So, and let's say there's a group of them, so. Okay, so they're going a little crazy right now. I mean, they weren't, I mean, I don't know the backstory on them, but it looks like they weren't being treated, or they didn't feel like they were being treated well. I don't know if that's just because the guy in the beginning didn't wave back, or maybe the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, but they seem really aggressive. I'm not really sure really what the backstory is on that, and um, it looks like, I don't know if they have like super strength or durability, if they are made out of metal, because obviously they look very shiny. Um, they're kind of tearing through these guards pretty quickly. And yes, I know it's a cartoon. It's just me thinking about it, you know, so. It appears the community has constructed a wall, sir. I know a damn wall when I see one, Lieutenant. Go get the site manager on the phone. Yes, sir. And you don't have to yell. How many did we lose in there, Sergeant? Staff count. Six killed, 22 injured, and nine missing. Presumed hostages, sir. Hostages. I was afraid you'd say that. This drops Trojan horse with a nuke down to plan B. This is Marcus. We're going to need a less catastrophic strategy. The men here are getting un- <laughs> Eat my taint! Bureaucracy is dead and we killed it! Now the people have control! Dr. Wilson, get the f*** down here! <laughs> <laughs> okay, besides Connor, this guy is probably my favorite in terms of comedy. And this guy isn't even one of them. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have to take out a loan. Roll for initiative. Hey, Connor, how's my pizza restaurant going? Sorry. Wait, what time is it? About 20 past 3. Shit, gotta go, guys. Ruby's the GM for now. <laughs> hey, dude, partner. How's it been? Torture. How about you, girl, buddy? Trauma counseling for cockroach people again. Oh, but good news. I've been doing research on the contents of your dreams, and I think I'm coming close to what might be the source of your anomalous power. Isn't that exciting? Oh, cool. Connor, don't make me use my psychology powers to make you tell the truth. I'd just rather focus on the now, you know? For now, let's just pretend I'm normal. Aw, babe, there's absolutely nothing special about you. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Ghost swords, demon swords. <laughs> the, see, it's not even a bunch of the things, like, it's not even the physical comedy that really gets me laughing. It's these little quips. Like, when he fell down, sure, that would have been funny, but the fact that he adds that little voice, like, little meh type. And then, I don't know, just little things that aren't necessarily supposed to be a punchline, but still help you. Or still make you laugh. Pentian Souls. Ah, here it is. SCP-2200. The blade that takes souls. Well, that doesn't sound fun. There's nothing fun about toppling regimes, Connor. Not anymore. You'll be fine. Miss Hilda, I don't think this plan In is- In short, this SCP is a sentient sword that chooses a host. At the moment, the designated wielder is a 27-year-old man named Lou Francis Patterson. Good lord. Don't let that face intimidate you. The sword is bound to his mind, and when he kills an individual with it, he sends their soul to a town in the Midwest called Salzburg. Or, as they now like to call it, the autocratic state of Salzburg. Go deep in the ASS and pull out the staff. Got it. Gross. Any more questions? How do I respawn after the mission because I don't want to be stuck looking like an Academy Award? Once you walk 50 kilometers away from the center of the slum, your soul will leave your body. And I'll be back to normal. Most likely. We don't know how powerful this entity is, so there's a small chance your soul will... Who knows? I'll have to read some astral documents, and find the arcane weapon documents, and the binder of the relic documents. God damn, we love documents in here. I love the little jab they put in right there about the documents, because, you know, I see peace. Hello, Connor. I bet you're wondering how I know your name. Oh, I was just going to assume she told you. You are mistaken. The sword told me. Still not impressed? Uh, okay, um... I don't even know where to start with this guy, but... In any case, his voice sounds so familiar. The sword also told me about your plan to destabilize my eternal kingdom, my paradise, my destiny. I cannot let this happen. Okay, you're bragging about being all-knowing from the inside of a prison cell, you know that, right? While you pondered and studied a means of escape, I studied the blade. What? No, 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 no. Nobody's trying to escape here. Hey, mission failed. Can we go now? A dangerously short temper is a common trait among all previous sword wielders. Use that to your advantage. Uh... If you don't, then I'll have the site manager confiscate your weed. Well, looks like we're gonna be here for a long time. It would seem that way. Or at least for me, since I'm immortal, you know? Yep. But not like your off-brand slumdog purgatory bullshit. I mean like, real immortality. I know what you're trying to do. It isn't going to work. Yeah, I know you know. Your magic barbecue scraper told you so. So what? It cares enough to retroactively pass on my insults, but not enough to save your disco ball looking ass from getting locked up? You're in here too. I was taken here as a kid. What's your excuse? I know what it is. You probably is got here. caught day one Stop after it. stepping into You're the sunlight, to you fucking enough. toaster asshole. I said enough. No. I won't do it. 
just as well. If it's your paradise, it's probably just anime girls. Loyal subject, you have struggled and toiled in the field for generations. You have suffered great hardships and fought harsh battles. But above all, you have suppressed your fear of what is to come after death. Fear not, for you have been given an opportunity to abolish that fear entirely. What? 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 I said we had a new resident, Lord Sylvester. Ah, yes. Thank you, Sylvia. Welcome, new alloy, <laughs> to the autocratic state of Soulsburg. Okay. He's dead? What just happened? The sword told me that this was going to happen. I can also see though how eventually killing them over and over again and then just having like the dead lifeless bodies uh falling into the their autocratic society that it's either gonna get crowded or if it could happen infinite times technically he can always come back is that eventually those bodies are gonna pile up and it looks like they're already falling on the people who are already there so as you can see, that can kind of have its own further complications down the road if that continues to happen. But he looks tired because he's got some sweat on him. So I'm assuming that the actual SCP itself is the actual sword and not the swordsmen. Because they talked about it having different wielders. And I don't know how exactly or the very specifics about the sword yet. As you wish. Alright, one more game. Bring it. Shit. What is its name? What? The name of the demon that possesses you. Do not lie. Trust me, I'd tell you if I could. But I have absolutely no idea. So is this like your house or something? I was forged by the very being that orchestrated the stars and filled the seas. I was imbued with a vow to save mankind from the scourge that is Hades and its foul occupants. If a demon is not in possession of your soul, then your very soul must be a creature of the devil himself. Now is this really necessary because I know a really cute psychic katana I could introduce you? No, no. I hope y'all learned a valuable life-changing lesson from that there message from the heart. Connor, I'm going to be straight with you. That was f***ed up. I've sent the report to the site manager, but he wrote it off as a minor workplace accident. Okay, so that was odd. Because not only have we seen that he can die, obviously, but now when he was about to die again, it I thought he was just going to maybe get killed, go back to uh, the little containment area, but whatever that black thing was, it seems like it killed the sword and obviously the enemy looking dude. Um, so this wasn't a case of where his life was essentially saved by his own little uh, reincarnation type deal. But more by an external force. And you saw like the little quick flash of those eyes. And it's really starting to bring up the question as well as far as... 
him ha having something in him probably that's protecting him. Now, it could be for good reason, or it could be that it just needs some because it needs maybe a host. I mean, it, it's just crazy because this is the first time we've seen it do an external thing to actually help keep him alive. So maybe that sword could have actually done some damage to him or possibly have made him not be able to come back. So I feel like that was kind of the intervention, at least as far as the, that black thing I grabbed it. I do wonder what happens, though, to the people of Soulsburg or the Autocratic Society of Soulsburg since the sword, it seems like it's completely destroyed. So, But yeah, Connor definitely has a lot of things going on as of right now. Incident. And Connor, I've looked at your documents, and it seems almost all of your tests end in an unusual number of staff casualties, even SCP casualties. I was told the whole point of using you in tests is because you're expandable. No offense. None taken. Maybe people dying on a regular basis is just part of the job. But I'd be lying if I said that wasn't a depressing thought. Are you new here? Yes, actually. Not to jerk myself off, but of all the SCPs to be stuck in a room with, I'm pretty damn tame and boring. I don't think you need to worry about a thing. Hold on one sec. Mad Colts speculated to be the cause of the horrible accident and, well, I guess the man who elected to bring his entire org. Huh. Now let's see. Okay, there we go. The owner of the factory, the factory. Look at that. Oh, why is that little redactor part right there? Coincidence, right? This is getting interesting because, I mean, obviously I don't know if it's just a regular factory or the SCP-001. It claims to have seen a demon in the wake of the tragedy. The former manager was sent to... It was otherworldly. We are not safe. We are not safe with that. Hmm. She keep mentioning that... I mean, she did mention that people around him tend to die a lot. And you would kind of expect that with the C SCP Foundation. But all the people dying around him could it be possibly connected to him in terms of his actual little ability to be able to come back. And maybe he does have a demon in him. Or something that's demon-like, but it would technically be an SCP. I don't think you need to worry about a thing. All right, let's go ahead and talk about that for a minute. So for the majority of this video, just take everything I said on it with, with a grain of salt, just cause I know it's an anim an animation. It's not really supposed to be like an SCP document. But I mean, I'm, honestly, a lot of things I really uh, try to talk about was mainly trying to focus on Connor himself, because now we're getting a lot more of kind of what's going on with him in terms of what is, um, how his ability is actually possibly being used. They did mention, uh, or we saw that when he was in that other little dimension with the sword, that the sword was gonna kill him, but then this dark shadowy figure ended up helping him. So this is the first time that there was actually kind of a third party when he was about to be killed. And I don't know if that was because maybe he wasn't gonna come back from this time if he did get killed by it. But then you see that little flash of the eyes about some there might be an entity either in him or maybe looking over him. So, but then we saw later on that when they were going through her um, his past or his documents, newspapers, they started talking about a demon and talking about there was some kind of cult or some ritual, and that they mentioned the a factory, not the factory, but I just thought that was a little cool thing, at least to maybe humor or think about. And then we also saw that them, they were talking about how a lot of people died around them. So I was kind of thinking, and also it seems like it would make sense that the fact that so many people die around him, that maybe he takes the life of someone else. As far as if you're standing there with someone and you have that ability, when you get killed, you come back and then that person gets killed. So yeah, essentially, he is indirectly taking the life of someone else if that makes sense i hope that makes sense um in any case we saw at the very end we were looking at his procedures his actual um object class 
description, all that stuff, and everything is just completely blacked out. So there's obviously, he's obviously, not him specifically probably, but there's obviously something within him or around him that is gonna be probably a big threat later on down the road. The only real thing you had was a picture of him, and at the very end you see this, some kind of monster with like these long tentacles and whatnot. That's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, really does help me a lot. Hit that dislike button if you didn't like it. It helps me improve the channel. If you're curious to see what's coming up next, check the description down below. You're gonna see a list of about five. Top to bottom, it's gonna be how I view them. But until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.